Hi, Mark Warnke, PatCoats.com. Um, if you're ever looking into building a stanchion, I've had now, this is my third one. This is the design I like the most by far in terms of ease of how the head stall works, how easy the tie down is, how easy it is to build. It's variability, and so I'll kind of go through those things. On a good stanchion, you need a large working area, um, especially when you're trimming hooves. So on big packers, you want something to put your foot up on, and I was, the one I used for years was just too narrow, and it was always you know, precarious that way. When you, when you do that, you also need, uh, so you need a, a good long one and wide, and so this has the right base where it's not too big but not too little. The other thing is, is that the tie downs. Now, if you ever have to tie a goat's rear legs down, sometimes you have a doe who's kicky or injured and you still need to milk, and I'm actually dealing with that right now. Um, it, this mechanism, finally, is a really good tie down system that works really nicely. These are the same thing that we use in our high line, and they're really cool. If you actually come in closer, so it, as you pull through, you can see that it, it, it holds tight, so it won't go anywhere. So as you tighten it, it's just like kind of like the Chinese finger trick, and it just easily pulls through. So the goat's foot is in here, this goes to here, and you just pull down, and as you create pressure, it won't go back through. So you can actually really create a good amount of pressure, hold the goat's feet down, they step in it, you pull this one lever, it just makes it really, really simple and, and it works really nicely. The other thing is, is when you don't want to use these, you just take these two things off, they loop under and they hook to themselves and you just tie them out of the way. So they're like that underneath. And so they're out of your way it's not like you use these things every day, but they're there when you need them. So that's the tie down system. And you need a way to do that on a wide stanchion. You have to actually put these rails inside so you're not making your dough stand all out like this. She's still standing inside, but you have a large platform. So that really was an interesting problem to try to fix and make work. Now the other thing is the head stall. I've had different head stall systems and with horned goats, which is what I have, but I also have some dehorn milkers. This is universal, and it's also universal for little goats and big goats. So here's how we kind of constructed it. Now here's where locking the head stall down easily is so nice. Most goats can fit their head right in that side. So that's the doe without horns. She sticks her head in, and you just really just slip this back down in. Now when you get a big goat, so let's say you get that really big packer with a bower neck on him, like my goat, goat Noah. So it's never gonna be that wide, it's gonna be like that. He still can't get his head out up here, but as he, it's kind of like that Chinese finger trick, as he, if he moves and jostles, if you actually let it in a little bit, you'll see this, this drops down. So you get this one, or excuse me, this side, this will drop down, and so as he moves, it'll kind of pinch him tighter. Now, it never goes to where it's choking them or anything, but it's never loosening, but because of gravity, and this is how you do it, it's always tightening. And so it's really nice how that works. It's not a problem while you're loading. I've had weeks worth of testing on it now. But again, to pull them out, you just grab these. There's a little slot, you put them right back here, and then you're open and ready for the next goat. And then you got your feeder bent out front with the proper spacing so they can put their head through and eat. And that's a bigger deal than you think. It took a little while to figure out what the proper spacing on a big and a little goat was and big goats with horns. And one of the reasons we have such a huge variance here is because little goats go through here and big goats go through here. So what we've done is figured out a way for a goat owner who has big and little goats, may want to milk, horns, no horns, a universal Stancher, stancher, or stanchion design that allows you to go in and, and build it yourself. So the course to teach you how to do this, it's really explanatory. It'll help you to build it. It's a really nice system, and I hope it's helpful to you.